isms and acting. Okay. Now, when I started going to school for acting, you were taught to basically literally submerge yourself into a character. And I understand why. Before I was like, I ain't doing that. That's silly. I don't believe that. But now I understand why. Because you don't want to go on stage and play somebody but still have your same habits. Because it's not believable. Like, I've never been a mother. But if I'm supposed to play a mother, I have to go into the script and read the script and live in the reality that was created by the author of the script and the director. That's what acting is about to me. I'm not saying, oh, that's the law of acting. There are several different styles and techniques that you, you've heard about and you will read about. And it's what we do as actors to find the reality of our character and the role and the story. And the more we really, really play, pay close attention to what we're doing and what the story is saying and what our character is like, the more realistic it is and the more honest it is and just the better the role is being portrayed. Now, my favorite two movies for roles like that are Awakenings with Robin Williams and Robert De Niro. Now, there's a story about... I don't want to get into great detail because I'm not going to be right. But if you get a chance, watch that movie, Awakenings with Robert De Niro and Robin Williams. And you just have to watch Mr. De Niro go through the transformation from where he was to getting better to getting back to where he was. It's, it, was it was really, really amazing to watch him do that. My other movie like that was Monster because it was Charlize Theron. Now, everybody has seen her like out on you know, on the red carpet, waving to the audience, or in the Oscars. But watch Monster and see her transformation. And it's not just costumes and makeup. It was some intense, serious acting. And you'll see why she won the Oscar for that. Because it was just, it blew me away. It totally did. Now... You may not see it, or you may not believe it, or you may not think the same thing I do, but those were ideas that helped me to understand why I do what I do. In the latest project I'm working on, I play an old woman. I had to create her reality and her story, and it made it easier for me to do the things I did with her costume, with her mannerisms, with her speech, because I had to create a story for her and I had to live through her story. If that was confusing, please let me know. I'll explain to you. It's It gets a little weird at times, like explaining acting like that, and it gets a little, oh... Oh, she's talking, acting, oh, snobby, snobby, snobby. Once I learned about it a little bit more, it became easier for me to understand. And I will gladly help you guys through it. And I will gladly talk to you about it. But that's acting in my isms. So I try not to, as I'm doing now, I try not to talk with my hands and I try to focus. Focus. So, also I'm on a camera. F I'm on a phone, a phone camera. So I don't 
really know where to look sometimes, so I'm sorry if I'm not looking dead at you, because sometimes I have to hold it this way, or sometimes I have to lay it this way. So, sorry. But, please, like I said, I welcome any and every conversation and any and every question about what's going on and what I'm talking about. So, have a great day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Dad's going fishing, so we'll talk about fishing and why I'm not going with him, even though I fish too. We'll let that part go. I'll see you guys tomorrow.